Welcome to Footloose Eventing. I've got my body protector on. That means one thing, guys. We're going cross country schooling. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Today, I have come to Little Downham or is it Ely Equestrian Centre or Ely Eventing Centre? I think it's gonna to be too windy here. I'm gonna stand behind my trailer. And um, I'm not talking to myself, guys. Behind me, I've got Jess and B. And um, yeah, we've come to Little Downham to do, I'm doing Ember's first cross country schooling session of the year. Also his first time cross country since Burner Market, not Burner Market, where did we go? Uh, since our event last year anyway so Ember's in the trailer I'm just about to get him ready uh, Jess has got Jim not there <laughs> he's he's here he's half tacked up and um, yeah we're just waiting for for Justine who is just rumbling down the driveway and, I had um, it that you were gonna be like no I know I'm early now now I've got a new job I've now got some timekeeping skills so Jess are you, are you excited I'm a little bit nervous. I'm sure it'll be fine. It's, well, it's my first cross country session. Whatever. In months. Oh. <laughs> I've, only, well, I've only gone cross country twice with him, so. Oh, yeah, no, it's fine. It'll be fine. It's very green. Yeah, no, it's fine. We're just gonna, the, the aim of today is just to nice and chilled, relax and easy, um, because. I won't be jumping that corner. I'm go, just caveating it now. Yeah, it's quite lit. It's quite big, isn't it? Yeah. It's quite beefy. Anyway, right, I'm gonna crack on. Actually, first, I've got some new boots, guys, and I wanna show them to you because they are beautiful. Right, everybody. These are my new boots, and they are Ego 7s. And I got them from the lovely chap Reese at Equidrump um, because I met him at Spoga. Actually, no, I met him doing the FEI video for. Um, the trust bits. Anyway, so these are the boots. Hallelujah. Sorry, Justine's also arriving in the background making a terrible noise with her, with her lorry. Um, yeah, so these are the boots. Uh, they I went for black. I haven't had black boots since I was like 15. And because I'm normally a brown kind of girl, but I thought, do you know what? These are smart, I can hunt in them. And they don't, this is the first pair of boots also. I have do not have laces. So um, yeah, I'm gonna try and squeeze them on, and then uh, and then I'll give you a fashion show. Me and my girl, we do cardio. I play like Mario, cause Jess likes the cardio. But that catch is party on. Uh, I'm a Gemini, and Jess is Scorpio. But that don't cross the minds when we on the cardio. Bet you on a peak, bet you on a sea. Hey guys, I'm going to explain a little bit about my warm up that I did with Ember because being a thoroughbred, he is a little bit of a hothead at times. Um, so I actually did before this first canter quite a lot of trot work just to get him really relaxed and listening as best I can. It was the windiest day probably in the world. There was quite a lot going on. Um, so you see, saw them when he first went into canter, he was a bit whoosh, let's go, we can go. And then eventually I could get out of my seat into a light seat and let him travel forward a little bit more uh, before I started jumping. But you can see how relaxed he is here because you know I'm giving him a stroke on the neck and just telling him that he's a very good boy. So the first jumps that I was going to do were these tiny little pipes and I wanted to trot him into it. Now, the reason I circled here is because he was getting so tense. He knew what was coming, but I just wanted him just to relax a little bit into it so I could maintain the trot and maintain the control because the last thing I wanted to him to do was learn that he can rush. So just trot and pop and then get him back to me. Now you can see I'm not actually wearing a martingale here. So his head carriage is a little bit high. You can get away with it and launch over that. 
and see he's landing and anticipating. So he's going a bit sideways, but I just keep my leg on. And the good thing about these jumps being so small is that you can just turn, point and go. Now, I felt ready I could go in canter, which I obviously find a lot easier. And actually, so does he, but it was good to do it from trot first. Um, so really, I was happy that he didn't launch that one. He actually popped a little stride in, which I'm much happier about. That was a better jump over that. And just get him back to me, make sure that he was not flying off. And he did it really nicely. Okay, so this fence here, I was going to jump this chair, which was a bit more solid, but you can see his head is sideways. He's very tense, very anticipating because he's just seen the other horses jump this. So he kind of knows what's coming. So I'm just chilling him out. I circled him, brought him back to walk, pat on the neck, just saying it's okay, mister, it's fine, let's relax. But I think here I just need a little bit more leg and get him going forward. And actually he comes straight in the end and you can see he's so keen, he's so keen. Um, and there was another fence here, which I just had to make sure he's not rushing to. And he actually came back to me really nicely. And you can have an action replay without. <laughs> Okay, so this fence here was a chicken feeder. Now, Brody and Justine are off jumping a million other things. I think Jess has just jumped it and he's actually by himself and he's worked up. He's looking all around and I just think, okay, we need to just take this back a step or two. Now, at this stage, it's really important for me not to rush with Ember. I can't rush the process. I just want to give him time to relax and you can see how tense he is. So I have to keep relaxed as possible, even when he starts kind of boinging around like he does here. I just have to stay relaxed, keep my hands soft, but be assertive. Now this approach probably wasn't the best line that I could have taken. I think I needed a bit longer to give him because he just whips out the side, but it's okay. Um, B actually stopped the camera there, but all I did was turned him round and approached again and he <laughs> flew it and left me behind a little bit. Use your body to bring him back. Now here we're going to do a little step down, Whoop. so I'm just thinking hands forward, hands forward, and uh, this was a bit messy. <laughs> In the past ditches have been our nemesis, so we just started by popping, literally it was like this pole on the floor with a little ditch to the other side and he jumps it really well. Then we try two houses on a bit of a curved line, very bold over the first and then sorts himself out, actually pops the little one, which I'm very happy about, for the second house. I want you just to appreciate how bold he is over this ditch. Literally didn't look at it at all. And then there was a bit of a bigger log here and he pops it so nicely as Jess is about to demonstrate for us. Ember was a bit hot and sweaty at this point, so I used this opportunity in the water literally just to splash him through and hopefully decompress a little bit. Look, you can see how hot and sweaty he is there. But he actually really likes water now. He's a changed thoroughbred. <laughs> Oh. 
We're now heading to the part of the course that I really wanted to tackle because this is the part that last time I came to Little Downham, I struggled a lot with, and that was the ditches with the logs and the pipes Forward in them. Kick. Come on! So I just started by popping him over the log and then the ditch, which actually he did really nicely first time. Then I popped him over both the pipes, bit messy, but I was actually happy how straight he was. Now this is Brody demonstrating how it should be done. So the trick is to look up, he did the pipe, the ditch, and then just took the opportunity at the last minute to whoop out the side. Here's a little slow-mo for you. I think he jumped so big over this, I was just a bit taken by surprise and just wasn't quite straight in myself. So to be fair, it's probably both of us, not just him. Um, then I was really determined, so pop. Huge pop over that, I actually had no balance whatsoever and that was just the worst jump. Actually, am I? We finished! Yay! And we are we all Jess is obviously drinking a Pepsi Max. Anyway, um, <laughs> if you want, we're all going to do a debrief, but if you want to see Jess's debrief, you've got to go to her vlog. If you want to see Justine's debrief, you've got to go to her vlog. But my debrief is I'm so happy and just overall happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. I didn't want to push it too hard today. Justine's going to be like, oh, I'm going to sign. I always yeah, say that, very good. but um, he, yeah, and the, my, the only th one thing that I wanted to achieve from today is to get over those blue pipes with the ditch in the middle. It's the first and time I've seen you go cross country and I thought you were bloody fab and the last time I actually saw you was technically on that vlog that you did and yeah, completely different horse. Oh. These boots, they were great. They Sorry, were can we just appreciate, can you see that? Here comes Jess. No, 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 no. Oh, oh, I kind of, I went a bit blurry there. Oh, hang on, ready? Da -na -na -na. Na -na -na -na. Ignore da -na. the legs. That's like, but... a, that's like a novice corner, that, Jess. Oh, yeah, definitely. Not, but... <laughs> no, I, I think see, that's in the I 90s. Wanna see, I want to see Justine over it. Yeah, where, hang we have on. A sneaky peek? Uh, yeah, we've got Justine, hang, hang on. on. Um, and also, guys, break. this is the funnest part about um, going, doing anything like this, is looking at all the videos after, isn't yeah. it? Well, maybe, on, not, maybe not the funnest part, but it's the secondary oh, to that. Oh, it's all right, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> right, ready? See how much air she gives Ready, her. one, two, three. Whoosh, what okay. the hell? Yeah, that's quite... And she was thinking about entering an 80. That's just embarrassing. Look at it is a good board. Justine, Look at that right. Oh, this, yeah. Guys, Justine will be doing a novice by the end of the season. Hopefully. Yeah. There yeah. we go. And then an intermediate. And then she'll be at Burley again. No. Okay. Well, guys, um, that was that was really really fun. I hope you enjoyed it too. Um, and a huge thank you to B for being <laughs> yes, thank you, B. the biggest <laughs> legend. <laughs> uh, B was walking really fast everywhere <laughs> and cameras. yeah all the cameras and everything so and she just helped me find my whip on the car <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's dedication. exactly so no we've all had a really good day and um i think i'm going to go schooling again at great witching blackwater farm i can't remember what it's called that is the same place isn't it yeah <laughs> it's got multiple oh. identities anyway i'm gonna go schooling again there and then i might think to look to do a first unaffiliated event at There's some point one thing you made a mistake there the mind. Oh, and then I am going to be entering <laughs> uh, my first one day 
a new video tomorrow. Anyway, if you enjoyed this vlog, you know what to do. Give it a like, leave me a comment, say yay, what well I remember, and um, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more fun. Right, say bye, guys. Bye. bye. bye.